what's up guys? Sneeze on you here with another episode of Smite. Today we're gonna to be playing this 1v1 match as Shibalanke. We're going up against the tier. So let's go ahead and get rank two boots, one healing potion, two mana potions, and let's put two ranks into our three rising jaguar and a rank into our two poison darts and our one branching bola and our ultimate darkest of night. So let's go ahead and read the rising jaguar. Shibalanke rushes forward and then jumps into the air. While in the air, he fought fires darts at nearby enemies, dealing damage to all in the area. Any enemies that are poisoned by Shibalanke take additional damage. So that's why it's important to use your two and then use your three because you get that additional damage. Oh, and you can see right here, it says additional damage, additional poison damage, 20%, which is huge. Absolutely huge. So I am a ranged, and I am going up against a, a melee god. Uh, right now he has the option, should I go back or should I not go back? The answer is go back. <laughs> I'll make the answer for you, go back. I'm telling you this right now. I'm telling you this right now. Is he really going to jungle right now? <laughs> what kind of glitchy stuff is this? What kind of glitchy stuff is this, man? Come on, man. Come on. What is up, man? Let's go ahead and press F8. Come on, man. Hit our mana potion. thinking about getting blood forge because I do a lot of auto attacks and this tier is going to take me down to a uh, very low health I know that for sure um, okay so he does have his five he has his ultimate so I'm gonna go back uh, he missed badly I'm gonna go back Go ahead and grab the uh, blood forge. <clears throat> I'll be able to get this. Bam. a big advantage being ranged. I just have to keep my distance. That's pretty much it. Thank <laughs> you. 
bunch of damage onto the tower. Bunch of health somehow. I wonder how he got so much health. Let's take a look at his items. So I just finished off my Blood Forge. Oh, so he's going with a Heart Seeker, a stackable item. And he has the regular boots. So that's interesting. He's really dependent on these minion kills. I took the tower. I didn't take the tower? What oh, kind of cheese? You can have that. I don't care. <laughs> I really don't care. Oh, I'll go with the Rage CC item. So now I have to start thinking about actives. What do I want as an active? It's on this phoenix, and then I'm gonna grab... I'll probably head back. type of breathing room whatsoever. And now uh, her life still from my uh, just hitting these minions. Justice. Go ahead and get that. 
No need to put a rank into uh rank. I don't need additional movement speed. Worst comes to worst, I'll get the Fatalis, but yeah. I'd rather go. Let's go Void Blade. Well, let's go ahead and grab Combat Blink. We're not going to have enough for the Combat Blink, though. So I think this wave right here will be the Fire Minions right here. So now I can be a little bit more aggressive. Minotaur out. Lure him out, and uh, let's go ahead and grab. Um, can I go ahead and get combat blink? Yeah, let's get combat blink. If I can lure Tear out and away from his Minotaur, uh, the fire minions will pretty much do the work. I think I should be able to solo the Phoenix. Yeah, let me just go ahead and get a damage buff. I'm at 214.5. Okay, I can't. Because he already got that one. Can I get everything? Oh, he saw me. Oh, 
I'm low health. I would just solo and take that Phoenix. But, uh... So he respawned. Your team has destroyed a middle enemy Phoenix. Combat blink if you need it. Six kills, two deaths. Oh, good game, man. 16 minute game, not bad. Not bad. Uh, <clears throat> slow down the GG. Uh, let's take a look at his build. So he went with the Heart Seeker. It's a stackable item. It's nothing special, the basic. Uh, plus 25 physical power, plus 10% movement speed. That's not what's important. What's important is the passive. You gain plus one physical power per stack. You gain, you receive two stacks for kill, a god kill. So that's not really important. It's the, it's the minion kills, you know what I mean? But the stacks are halved if he dies. So he died six times. So he practically had nothing left. He had nothing left. Uh, max amount of stacks he could get is 50. So every time he died, let's say he killed 10 minions. If he died, he'd be down to 5. So that's only that's only plus, um, <clears throat> plus 5 on top of the 25. So that would have given him 30 physical power. So that's not the smartest, uh, that's not the smartest item to get, you know, before boots, you know, warrior tab eye. Um, <clears throat> you could go boots, uh, focus void stone, so you have the defense, so you're not going to die, and then get the heart seeker. Um, then he went with the cooldown, the CDR item, uh, Jotun's Wrath, plus 40 physical power, plus 150 mana, plus 15 physical penetration, and it's passive, your ability cooldowns are reduced by 25%. But <clears throat> I didn't even really need combat blink, to be honest. It was just if I got really, really, really like low and... I was near the. It was mainly because I was pushing the Minotaur and the Phoenix really hard, just in case I don't want to die to something stupid like that, like frivolous. Like I'm down to low health and he respawns and then he kills me with an ultimate or a ability. You know what I mean? Um. So I got the Blood Forge. This was the most important item that I got. Uh, let's talk about it real quick. The Blood Forge plus 40 physical power plus 20 percent physical life steal. Woo! It's passive. Each successful basic attack hit on an enemy grants you plus five physical power, plus two percent uh, physical lifesteal for four seconds, max five stacks. So I could have 25 physical power if I have the five stacks, plus 25 physical power on top of the 40. So that puts me at 65 physical power if I have five stacks. And then I get the plus two percent physical lifesteal. I mean, you can't beat that. You really can't beat that, man. Uh, I was getting lifesteal from the minions. I was getting lifesteal from hitting. 
I don't know if I finished it for the tower. I don't think I finished it when I destroyed his tower. Maybe, but if, if I did finish it, I get physical life still from that. Anything I hit, pretty much. Minions, minion camps, Phoenix, Minotaur, Tear, I'd get that 2% that physical life steal, which is huge. Huge. It'll keep me in the game for a long time. Long, long time. And that's what you want to do. You want to stay in lane as much as possible. Get all that experience. Get all that gold from the minions. And it, it paid off. You know, I was level 17 to his 14. But if you, if you step in a 1v1 match, expect anything. Any and everything. Any and everything, man. You got to come prepared, man. So I would have liked to see the the Warrior Tab Eye, the Focus Void Blade, and then the Heart Seeker. But um, <clears throat> that's pretty much it, man. Thanks for tuning in, guys. This is Sneeze on You signing off.